Hello everyone, welcome to episode 1 of my rune crafting tutorials. In this video I will be showing you three very useful runes that also interact with each other. The first rune is the teleporter rune, the second one is the receiver rune, and the third one is the personal teleporter. First off, you're going to want to make find out your area that you're going to be making your teleporter, and an area you're going to make your receiver. Receiver would be a good area, a good area for the receiver would be like maybe a mob, auto mob trap that you've made, and it's way too far to actually walk to it yourself. And then you're going to have a teleporter maybe in your main base, or maybe in an area, maybe a what way teleporter hub, a bunch of teleporters in it. Um, so I choose this area, I'm going to make the teleporter in this area, I'm going to make the receiver. So to start off, you're going to want to dig out a section like this, like a uh, number sign. And once you've done that, uh, let's see, let's do this out real quick. Once you've done that, you will have something like this. You want to dig out these four that I'm digging out right now. These are where your signatures are going to be going. Sorry, FPS. These are where your signatures are going to be going. And the corners and the middle one should be a tier zero rune, or two rune, block. Tier zero block. If it's not, then you want to get rid of those two. Tier zeros are stone and dirt. Then once you do that, you're going to want to take any any block that you want. And you're going to make, you're going to fill in the number sign that you did earlier. This. And this is your basic outline for your teleporter rune. In the middle, this is going to be where what you're going to right click to use it. If you didn't have this block here, you could also use the block underneath it. Or any of these four right here. For now, I like to put a block right there so it actually blends in with the, the ground. You can also do this on the wall too, vertical. Um, so, next what you want to do is find out four signatures you want to use. So, say I wanted to do... This here, that there. They cannot be any kind of block besides a tier zero. So I have these four. Now you're gonna wanna. You can use a compass slash compass or whatever your server has to find out, or the rune that rune that shows you uh, which way is north. And you're gonna wanna copy this onto your receiver. Now to make your receiver, you wanna do this design I make right now. Find that out. Pretty easy to remember the outlines, and then you're going to want to get rid of the center, and then leave these all but the cor you can leave the corners again too as long as they're tier zero. And you're going to want to use the same type of block that you did to make the outline of the whip, the teleporter, and you're going to want to do this outline. And then you're going to put one in the middle, and then you have, this is the receiver. Now you're going to want to copy your same exact way that you did your teleporter, the signatures, over to your waypoint. So we had glowstone there, we had mossy cobble up here, we had stone brick right here, and then we had a wood right here. And once you've gotten this both complete, you can right-click the center of the receiver, and you will get a message in chat saying that it's been accepted and if it you get a message in chat saying that it hasn't been accepted and it's already been used and you have to make a different signature and then once it says that it hasn't been used you want to go to your teleporter right click the center your four signatures will disappear and then you can right click the center and it will teleport you to the receiver what I like to do is put the receiver down into the ground so you can't see it so that it basically looks like you teleported you into a room and you can't see it. Just makes all rooms look better when you don't see them. And then another thing you can do to make your teleporter area look better is you can fill in these spots where the signatures were with a tier zero. And then you have this. And next up is the personal teleporter rune, which is a basically the teleporter, but it's when you use it, it's consumed or destroyed in the process of being used. So that basically you don't have to worry about someone else's using your teleporter to get to your receiver. Basically what you're going to want to do is take the four redstone torches, put them in the four like that, put a redstone in the middle, and then you're going to want to copy the same signature from your the receiver you want it to go to. So we're going to do glowstone, mossy, stone, and wood. Right clicking the center will teleport you to the receiver 
and it will give you back your redstone, one redstone. So those are the three runes for this video. Hope this helps you um, learn how to do the teleporter rune, the waypoint rune, and the personal teleporter rune. Very useful. Um, and I will see you guys in the next rune crafting video. See you guys later.